Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, we have a beautiful day going off here today. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of sunshine. Lots of power coming into the systems. And if you've watched some of those one minute teaser clips I've been throwing at you for the past week, that I'm going to go to a 48 volt system for the first time ever. I'm going to show you what's going to be the heart of that and it's the brand new 51.2 volt 90 amp hour server rack style lithium iron phosphate battery from Power Queen. And it's, it's looking like a beauty. So let's get right into it. So here it is guys. This is the first look at the Power Queen 51.2 volt 90 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This is the server rack style which is becoming more and more popular out there as a lot of you know for building your 48 volt systems. It packs a whopping 4608 watt hours. That is just incredible to have that much available power in one battery. It's got the positive, negative terminals. Those are M8 terminal bolts. And you can see there's two positive, two negative. And that's so you could stack another battery or two and you can just tie the batteries in together with one of those bolts and then leave one open for your loads. So whatever you want to do for our purposes here, we're going to just see what this one battery will do. We have extremely high expectations of it. We know Power Queen builds high quality batteries. We've reviewed them before on their 12.8 volt 200 amp hour battery. It is currently running here 24 seven in a multitude of applications. It has never failed once. We have seen them torn apart. We know the build quality inside and out of all their other line of batteries is absolutely superb. And no doubt this one is as well. Now the one thing you'll notice that's different on this compared to the other style of batteries, this actually has an off on switch. So right now this battery is in the off position and there is no power going to these terminals. And that's a very important thing to notice. And when you are tying the system in as well, you always want to have this in the off position so there's no chance of any kind of an accidental shock coming from these. You would never want to touch these, of course, at the same time. That could be very hazardous. And so while you are constructing your system, make sure to leave this battery in the off position until you have built your system properly and have double checked every connection you have made. So let's get into some of the uh, specifications right off the bat with this that are very, very impressive. It says they have grade A cells. It boasts 4,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge, 6,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge, and a whopping 15,000 cycles at a 60% depth of discharge. That means if you're only cycling this to 60% of its capacity, you're talking like 40 years, which means uh, this battery is going to be running long after I am not. And that's the reality. Treated well and sized to a whatever size of your needs are, if you can oversize your needs a little bit and not drain these 100% every cycle, you add on an incredible amount of years of longevity to this type of a system. Now I'm gonna uh, build a system around this and see how long I can make this last in some of the household things that I use around here. And because it's gonna be running on a 48 volt system, which is so much more efficient than 12 volt, and as you know, I have 
built many 12 volt systems. This is going to be my first ever in 30 years of living off grid of going to a 48 volt system. High expectations of this. This is a beautiful battery. I can't wait to do a few more things with it and be tying this thing up. But I'll give you just another little bit of a look. Nice, very sturdy metal case. Comes in at just over 90 pounds. And it has these extremely stout handles, one on each side. And you're going to need those to move this thing around because at just over 90 pounds, it's got some good weight to it. So you want to make sure you have a good support system for it. Now this battery did come with a, an owner's manual, operating manual, and a quick reference guide. Unfortunately, this came to me in a, a German version, so I can't read and tell you what all of this says. But I did mention this to Power Queen, and they quickly sent me a email with these uh, exact manuals and quick reference guide in English. So I will be able to read those over to you and go over some more of the specs. But yeah, this is really, this is really an impressive looking battery. So this battery has been sitting here for about a week now. I always let these batteries rest after they get here, let them settle into the ambient temperature and the general surroundings here. It's just something I like to do before I ever start tying it up into anything so I can see how the resting voltage uh, works and what it settles in at. And of course it doesn't take that long. That's just one of my own personal preferences to do with any new battery I get. And so we've got the trusty Kai Wheats quick multimeter on this and I've now got it tied in positive and negative on the auto mode and you can see it registers absolutely nothing at rest and why is that? That's because I've got the battery turned off so no power going to the terminals. So now I'm going to flip the switch on and we'll give you a different look at this. And there it is, at rest, been at rest, no charge whatsoever in over a week, 52.9 volts. And that's exactly what it's been reading since arrival, has not fluctuated one little bit. It's at rest, 52.9 volts. And it's, get, it's ready now to get tied into the system that we're gonna build for this. But wanted to show you just how nice that is to have a battery with an on off switch. And if you're not used to that, and you go to check your nominal voltage after its arrival, <laughs> you're not going to get a reading until you turn that switch on. So, all good information there. Flip the switch back off, go back up there, reads nothing, as it should. That's a safety feature of this type of a battery. And one of the things that they do recommend is when handling this, you should always use insulated gloves. And that's a great idea. Make sure the battery's off, but still use insulated gloves for safety. These are rubberized gloves, prevent any kind of a shock from passing through you. Great idea, they include that in the manual. And while you soak the beauty of this thing in, I'll read over a couple other things that are in the English version of the manual that I'm looking at. and. This can be stacked up like this in this position, you know, with a rack. You could put your other one above that, support it, and then cable to, to the, each other. Uh, they don't recommend uh, stacking it or uh, it, installing it on this side or that side, uh, or, of course, on this front side. I guess you could stand it up and rest it in the upright position on the back. I like it in this position, and if I was to add another one, I would just make a rack system or purchase a rack system, which you can get, and stack them up. They recommend 1500 watts of solar to charge this up. I'm gonna quickly tie up about 1200 watts uh, 
to get this thing going and I have full expectations that this one battery will basically run the house if I have enough solar panels to do it. It's going to take me a little while. I'm going to start with 400 and, and add to it every few days and I'll keep you apprised of how that situation works but I'm going to try and get it up to 1200 watts as quick as possible and show you guys how that works. And I'll just read over a few more of the uh, specifications in the English version of the manual, which I'm reading right off my tablet. Uh, it does have prismatic cells, nominal capacity of 90 amp hours, usable ca capacity of 90 amp hours, nominal voltage 51.2 volts, 4,608 watt hours, Ninety amp BMS max continuous charge and discharge current. Ninety amps has a max discharge current for five seconds at two hundred amps, and a max continuous load power of four thousand six hundred and eight watts. I am very excited that <clears throat> Power Queen has launched this. It's available now. I'm going to give you guys links and a discount code for this for any of you that are interested. And I'll show you around over here on the right side of it. Gives you some cautions of what not to do. Do not short circuit. Do not reverse connections from charger to battery. Do not disassemble. Do not throw into a fire or incinerate. Do not heat above 70 degrees Celsius. So... Do not disassemble, and it looks like there's only three, six, nine, twelve little screws to pop this plate. I kind of want to take a peek in there. I've never opened up a battery before. I have full confidence that there's a beautiful build in there. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. So before I pop that cover off, I'll just go around a little bit of the uh, BMS protection. Overcharge, BMS protection, over discharge, over current, short circuit, and high temperature cutoff. All of those parameters are preset in the BMS. And if you do any of those things, the BMS will shut this battery off for its own protection. Okay, I've popped that cover off. And let me reiterate that you are not supposed to do that. And it clearly says right there, warranty void if removed. So I'm only doing this to show you guys uh, so you can see the quality of this build but you won't need to do that and I recommend that you do not do that there should be no reason to do that and look at that that is a beautiful build I also want to say that I am not overly qualified to be saying a whole lot about this other than just some basics of what it looks like and you can see it has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 cells. You can see all the leads very nicely tied together, tied on some uh, straps that have the cells strapped together. Very, very clean looking uh, cable posts. Really nice. I'll give you guys a little slow-mo through here and you can look for yourself. A lot of you guys that know exactly what you're looking at. And a lot more than I do, but this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. High temperature. probe right there mounted onto the batteries and then see if I can get there's the 
There's the BMS. You can see the nice terminal connections. This is the negative side. Everything bundled together, nice and clean. Looks to be a top-notch build, in my opinion. And then I'll try and show you Kind of hard, and this is as far as I go. I'm not taking this thing apart any further. All I did is remove the top plate and a, a small plastic sheath that covered this entire thing. But right down in there, not sure you're going to be able to see it, but those are the bus bars connecting all the cells. They look really, really nice. That looks, that looks beautiful. And like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm only doing this for you guys. A lot of you know a lot more about this. I have never built my own system with cells and whatnot. So uh, I was just curious myself what it looked like in here and I'm happy to show you guys, but you should have no reason to ever do this. And like I said, it will avoid your warranty if you do. So don't do it, but there you go. Pretty impressive. Those cells are just nice and flat. Strapped together nicely. All right, I'm gonna cover it back up. And right there I do see one sticker on one cell. 91838.8 milliamp hours is how that reads. Okay, now I'm going to close it up. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Okay, we're going to drop this thing into the system, uh, which is ready for it. Put its first full charge on it. We'll be back in a few days and show you how it works. Can't wait to show you guys. Very excited. Thanks to Power Queen. For sending this out for a review. Hope you guys liked it. Catch you later. Aloha.